My name is Jean Smith and I'm the children's librarian at the Chromian District Library here in Heartland, Michigan and I'm always in charge of having entertainment at the Memorial Day Parade here in Heartland and I thought this was perfect for a Memorial Day Parade to bring in a museum like this that talks about World War II. So we bring it in every Memorial Day for the last three years and they're here from 9 until 3 and people see it before the parade and then after the parade we have big crowds. We've even had people come from long distances that this was the date that they could connect with Trace's Museum and the Buseum and they come and they tell their stories too. So it's been a very, very interesting experience here in Heartland. We are from the Trace's Center for History and Culture. It's a small World War II history museum based in St. Paul, Minnesota and we're devoted to the, uh, telling the, the untold stories of what went on in the Midwest and how it related to the war in Europe and how the war in Europe related to the, to the folks in the Midwest. The bus is one of the exhibits about the 370,000 Germans that were captured in Europe and North Africa during World War II, brought here to the States, brought to the Midwest. There were 220 camps in the upper Midwest. There were 660 camps all over the United States. Every state in the Union, including Alaska, had uh, prisoner of war camps. Just about anything you can think of that was not a military related item uh, activity, we had the POWs doing it. The government made between 100 and 130 million dollars off the labor of the POWs from 43 to 46. The POWs were actually working to help defeat themselves. The panels on the right hand side in the bus tell how the men were captured, where they were captured, how they were brought here. The panels on the left side tell what life was like in the camps, what the camps themselves were like. The artifacts and the cases are all items the men had with them either when they were captured or had with them in the camps themselves. And then there's a video in the back of the bus that goes into detail about a camp in, uh, in Iowa. But because the, the military standardized the camps, uh, what went on at that camp basically went on at, at all the camps. So we treated the German prisoners uh, with uh, courtesy, kindness, respect, and dignity. The military uh, abided by the Geneva Conventions, which stipulate you treat the men as if they were your own troops. You feed them, clothe them, house them, give them medical treatment if they need it. If they work, they have to be paid for their work. They cannot be used as slaves. You do not beat the men, nor do you torture the men. We thought that if the word got back that the German POWs were treated well here, that our men would be treated a little bit better in Germany, and they were uh, on a scale of one to two. They were treated a little bit better than, than the British uh, POWs and even the, the French POWs, and of course much better than, than the Soviet POWs. Um, but it was also thought that if word gets back to, to the German army that their POWs are being treated well here, they'd be less of a threat to fight and more easily give up. And it was thought that if word gets back that it would save lives on our side. And then also it, it was thought that at the end of the war, these men are gonna be allies and, and no longer enemies. And if they're treated well and they go back to Germany, they'll be able to tell their, their countrymen that America was a very nice place and Americans are very good people. And those men overnight went from being enemies to being allies in the Cold War. They were the front line in the war against, of the propaganda war of communist Russia and East Germany and the capitalist United States and, and Europe, uh, Western Europe. They were able to tell the, their countrymen, don't listen to the lies coming from Russia and, and East Germany. We were in America, we met Americans, they're wonderful people, they're a, it's a wonderful country. So our treatment of the POWs paid benefits. It caused trouble here in the States at first, that people complained that they were being coddled and being treated too well and they could get food and, and items that were rationed by to the civilians but ultimately it, it, it worked to the, to the best interest of the United States. Memorial Day means to me is a holiday in which I will think about what I have done while I was serving this country and what other people are doing right now in serving our country all over the world.